Hi, Kevin Smith here again to Beloved, and I'm talking to you about intervals. Now, when I just did the slurring exercises, that incorporated uh, the intervals. But I wanted I want to discuss this a little more because it's kind of a combination, good way to warm up, and also a good way to start hearing uh, the the distance what an interval is, a distance between a note. They have half steps, whole steps, minor thirds, major thirds, perfect fourths, etc., cetera, uh, et cetera. So if you're doing these kind of exercises, you hear this... That's what's called a half step, okay? If you do this... That is a whole step. In each of these, the half step, they keep, call each of these a semitone. A whole step is made up of two semitones. And as I go, for each of the intervals that I'm going to play in succession, I'm just adding one semitone. Okay, so I've just played the whole step. Now I'm going to do a minor third. I'm adding a half step. And then a major third. Perfect fourth, augmented fourth, which can also be called the diminished fifth, excuse me, and then a perfect fifth, minor sixth, major sixth, Minor seventh, major seventh, and then an octave. What what this does, uh, as well as continues to work on your mouth early in the morning, get the lips going, uh, get the embouchure strengthened, is gives you an opportunity at the same time to just hear these intervals and start incorporating them as part of your entire musical experience.